This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Well, I mean, they're not going to be if they don't make the playoffs. It's all one in seven. It has nothing to do with anything else. One in seven is one in seven, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you know it's. It's near impossible to make the playoffs at one and seven. You need so much help. And, you know, it's just whatever. Not a, not something. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to enjoy the development of Jalen Waddle. I'm going to enjoy the performances of Tua. I'm going to enjoy that I know that Jalen Phillips is getting better and I am cheering on every time he gets, a, you know, a sack. I love what I'm seeing from Christian Wilkins. I love what I see from Raquan Davis. I hope Brandon Jones comes back next week. Javon Holland gets me so damn excited. You know, there's a lot of things. The, my concerns are for the future. It's not even now. Now I'm just living in the moment of enjoying the development of Miami Dolphin players, that they are playing better and better and better. My real concern is that if you don't know how to fix the offense, we will be in the same position over and over and over again. Folks, I watched Jason Taylor and Zach Thomas and Sam Madison and Pat Sertan and Tim Bowens get old before my very eyes, and so did you. No matter if they won 11 games or 10 or whatever, they couldn't fix the offense. I watched Cam Wake run his ass into the ground and never, ever enjoy what he deserved because we've had a lot of great players come through here that did not get what they deserved. You understand? You don't solve the quarterback and the passing game issue, and we have Ricky Williams running for 1,800 yards, and it means nothing. Folks, if you don't solve the offensive issues, and this coach cannot solve the offensive issues, that's going to be a major problem. That's a that's the that's what keeps me up at night for next year. That if you bring this guy back and it's the same shit that's happened for three straight years, that he is part of the problem why you can't solve the offense then it doesn't matter what he does on defense. I've seen this story before. Are you just a coordinator like Dave wants that? Well, then I'm sorry, dude. Because even when you have Ricky Williams or whatever, you're still thinking about field goals the second you cross the 40-yard line. And everybody in their headsets is hearing, all right, guys, let's take care of the, of the football. We're in field goal range. I've seen this story before. Please stop bragging to me about what the defense is doing. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it. If you get another defensive coordinator, they've got the players. Go ha have at it. Should be able to play good defense no matter what good defensive coordinator you hire. But I need to know who's going to coach Tua. I need to know who's going to develop the five guys up front. I need to know who the hell is going to be calling plays to set the running game up, to set receivers up, to help the quarterback. That's my concern. You guys can, you know, mental masturbation about, well, we need this team to lose and that team to win and this team to lose and that team to win. And, okay, we're great through this bye week. Okay, now next week it's the Jets and then this and that and this, that. Oh, and I've looked at uh, the schedule of all these teams and that. I don't care about any of that, dude. I just worry about this team. I'm not going to worry about what I can't control. You know what I mean? can't even control your own team but at least i can root and see and find out and and where my confidence is and if any of you have confidence that the offense is going to get fixed i want to know what drugs you're taking i need to know because if it's kept you that delusional well maybe i i need that so i, I don't have to worry about it but that's my concern that's my real concern because I've seen this story before. We just got Raekwon Davis. We just got Javon Holland after the, after the coach scared off Minka. Notice the front office drafted Minka, hit on Minka, 
and then had to trade away Minka to then now get Javon Holland. And, I'm sorry, is there another front office in the NFL that has drafted two Pro Bowl caliber safeties back-to-back -back like that? No. I've watched this story before. I'm not watching Javon Holland get old on me. I'm not watching Jalen Phillips get sack after sack after sack, and it means nothing. I'm not doing that. So prove to me, like I said earlier, can Flo get me an offensive staff? Then I'm on board. I'll deal with him being sorry and challenges and other silly mistakes he makes because he's young and all that. But if you can't hire a staff, I'm off. I'm done. So those of you that are like emotional cripples and you can't handle the truth, you can't say anything I'm saying is off base or a lie or misleading or nothing. The facts are he cannot build an offense. And if he cannot build an offense and help his, his team and the franchise move forward, he cannot be a head coach. So I don't care what games he's won, and I don't care what you think about him saving his job. It doesn't mean anything because next year we'll be back in the same rut again. Because that's what we've been in for three straight years as he's made seven changes. And you think he's not going to make more changes again on offense? And what established coach is going to come work for this guy knowing that he could be on the hot seat as it is? That's, that's where you have to actually look at everything and say, okay, I, I understand what, what O is saying. You cannot tell me that you feel ultra confident about the direction of the franchise going into next year on the coaching side. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.